Hello everyone. Welcome to MS App Tip webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to join an existing Windows 10 device to Azure Active Directory. This would be useful to test a few machines in the cloud for Intune, Autopilot, or just to get an idea of what it is like to manage a fully cloud machine. You can also join a new device to Azure Active Directory as a part of the out of box setup experience. There is a lot of ways you can join Windows 10 computer to Azure Active Directory. First, Azure Active Directory join devices. Second, Azure Active Directory register devices. Third, Azure Hybrid join devices. And fourth, Autopilot. In this video, we will use Azure AD join device method to join Windows 10 to Azure Active Directory. You can configure Azure Active Directory join for all Windows 11 and Windows 10 devices except for home additions. Let's sign into the Azure Active Directory portal using an account with global administrator permissions. You can access Azure Active Directory portal using the URL https colon double slash aad.portal.azure.com On Azure AD portal, click on Azure Active Directory. We are using the user account with global administrator role to perform these steps. As with many configurations, there are some prerequisites that you will need to have in place to get this working without issues. Luckily, these settings are the default in Azure Active Directory. But it is good to check them just in case another admin has explicitly changed them. To check that, under Manage, click on Devices. To see or to modify the present device settings, click on Device Settings. By default, all users can join devices to Azure Active Directory and they can also register the devices to Azure Active Directory. If you want, you can change the settings as per the requirement. And that options are here. User may join devices to Azure Active Directory. All users can. And users may register their devices with Azure Active Directory. All users can. To improve security, you can also force users to complete multi-factor authentication to register or join devices with Azure Active Directory. But in this video, I'm not going to cover it. I'll create one separate video on how to manage device settings in Azure Active Directory. Now, let's join a Windows 10 device to Azure Active Directory using Azure Active Directory join devices method. Let's go to a Windows 10 computer. This is our Windows 10 computer. Uh, on our Windows 10 computer, I'm going to open settings. So for that, right click on start button and uh, click on settings. Click on accounts. As you can see right now, we have logged into this Windows 10 computer using the local account name admin. I'm going to click on access work or school. Click on connect. You don't have to provide the email address here as we are going to join this Windows 10 computer using Azure AD join device method. We need to click on join this device to Azure Active Directory. Let me click on this link. After clicking on that link, you will be prompted to enter your Azure Active Directory user account credential. I'll use test user one's credential. So I'm going to enter the uh, UPN of test user 1 which is user 1 at msaptwebcaster.onmicrosoft.com After providing the username, click next. Enter the user's password and click on sign in. If your organization has enabled multi-factor authentication on Azure Active Directory, you will need to complete the multi-factor authentication before this device can join Azure Active Directory. 
If MFA is not enabled, the Azure AD Join wizard will ask you to check and confirm your organization's name and details. Connecting to msaptivewebcaster.onmicrosoft.com this is the name of our Azure Active Directory domain. Username is user1 at msaptivewebcaster.onmicrosoft.com and user type is going to be administrator. Once you are sure about the organization Azure Active Directory domain you want to join, click on join. This will begin the enrollment and will take some time to enroll the device to Azure Active Directory. We can see Windows 10 device is now connected to Azure Active Directory. This device is connected to MS Active Webcast. This is the name of our Azure Active Directory tenant. Click on Done. The machine will now show that it is connected to MS Active Webcast Azure Active Directory. Connected by user1 at msaptivewebcaster.onmicrosoft.com we also want to confirm that this device is part of the devices list in Azure Active Directory. Go back to the Azure Active Directory Admin Center web interface. Click on All Devices. Here we can see name of our Windows 10 computer and OS version information. This is the name or we can see this is the host name of our Windows 10 computer Win10-CLI01. Let me show you that. Uh, let me click on Home, System, About, and we can see the name of our Windows 10 computer is Win10-CLI01. Enabled, yes, OS type is Windows. This is the version information. And here we can see Join Type. It is Azure Active Directory Join Machine. Owner is that T is to the 1. And this is the timestamp when we have joined this Windows 10 computer to our Azure Active Directory. We can confirm that taste to the one is listed as an owner for this device. Now let's go back to our Windows 10 computer. And I'm going to sign out from the local user accounts. Uh, let me close it. Let's sign out from this Windows 10 computer. Uh, now let's sign in using taste to the one's user account. Click on other user. The login screen now changes to sign in to your work or school account. Let's sign in using Taste User 1's user account. So enter the username and password. User1 at msaptwebcaster.onmicrosoft.com. Let's specify user password. Let's click on this arrow to submit the username and password detail. This is the first time user is logged into this Windows 10 computer. So user's profile is going to be created. And that's why it will take some time to create user's profile. Uh, let me click on OK. OK, it is asking us to set up the pin for user. OK, let's click on OK to set up a pin for this Windows 10 computer. All set. Now you can sign in to this Windows 10 computer with the provided pin. Let's click OK. OK, uh, let me click on the Start button. Uh, let me show the username which is a taste user 1. So we can confirm that now taste user 1 can successfully log in to Azure Active Directory join a Windows 10 computer. Uh, let me open Settings. Let's click on uh, Accounts, not System. And on your info page, you can see this user one. This is the user's username. Uh, user one at msaptivewebcaster dot on microsoft dot com, and he is an administrator. So that concludes the video on how to join Windows 10 computer to Azure Active Directory using Azure Active Directory join device method. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.